So Khan's videos have been quite an inspiration. So since fifth grade, I've been making my own math and science videos. Now, two months ago, I turned 14 and my fifth grade math teacher reached out suggesting that I submit an entry for this competition. So here we are. We have this cone and we want to find its volume. So to do that, let's slice it and dice it up into slices. So now that we have our sliced up diced up cone, let's grab that bottom slice and let's transform it into a square prism of equal thickness and area. Let's do that again and again and for the remainder of our slices. So now we have a square based pyramid. Next, let's slide the slices of our square base pyramid so that the apex lies directly above a corner of the square base. Now, let's scale the thickness of each slice so that the total height of our square base pyramid is equal to a side of the square base. Now, let's make a duplicate, but this time we're going to rotate it about this longest edge right here. Let's do that one more time. And now we have a cube made out of three identical square based pyramids. Now the volume of the cube is the side length cubed. And since there are three identical square based pyramids making up this cube, the volume of each square based pyramid is going to be one third S cubed. Okay. So now every for every slice in our red pyramid, the thickness is greater by a factor of H over S than its corresponding slice in this yellow pyramid. So therefore, the total volume of this red pyramid is greater by a factor of H over S than this yellow pyramid. Now, to get from our blue pyramid to our red pyramid, all we did was slide the slices, so the volume remains the same. Now we can simplify this so that will get B, B one third S squared H, or one third base times height, for the volume of a pyramid. Now, substituting what we have in for S, this will give us one third pi R squared times H, or one third base times height for the volume of a cone. And that's it. So as I said at the start, Khan's videos have been a tremendous inspiration. So make sure to check out my channel, which now has over two dozen videos on a variety of math, science, blender, and coding topics. The best way to really master anything, I think, is to make a YouTube video on it, but with no cuts.